Ashley and Wayne, you're trying desperately to keep in step. Did you get that? Come here, Ashley. Wayne, you two are trying desperately to keep in step, but you can't because you don't walk. Peter home. and William. So, so, no, no, don't overdo it, Ash. You know, it's just little bits of uh, tra skipping. I mean, you know, everyone else is going left and you're going right, so you're sort of uh, okay. <laughs> A street in Battersea was one of several London locations used last summer for a new film directed by Waris Hussain about the mixture of anarchy and love that is a part of every child. The film, which is soon to have its world premiere, is called Melody, and in the cast are 300 children, many of them under 16. The employment of children in films has always been covered by government legislation, but the recent Children and Young Persons Act, while protecting them even further, has presented more problems for the filmmakers. One of the stars of Melody is Jack Wilde. He's over 16, so now the act doesn't apply to him. But Mark Lester, who's also in the film, is only 11, and Melody is his 11th film. Where well, is this bloke? He's just a normal bloke, and he runs away with this girl, falls in love and runs away, you know. In the title role is another 11-year-old, Tracy Hyde, making her film debut. Melody is a little girl who's very much like me. She loves dogs, and so do I. I like cats and goldfish, same as Melody. Um, she goes around with girls a lot, uh, so do I. And um, I don't quite go about the way to get a boyfriend like she did. I just wait for them to come to me. You can buzz off now, love. You know, turn on, toodaloo. So I thought we'd go to the bomb site. Old Dad has got the most incredible bomb you've ever seen in your life. He's got a... Co He's got a Coca-Cola bottle and, and he, he soaked it in... He got some socks and soaked it in petrol and he got some phosphorus, he, what he nicked from the lab. What? Well, after that, I thought we'd shoot down the arcade. Um, I, I've got millions of pennies. Uh, we could go on, on the tank firing range or... or or um, the, the fruit machines, Danny. You like the fruit machines or um, the football game. You know you like having a go on that. Um, we could go to the Odeon and see that picture he was talking about, the, the, the space one. Or uh, go to the zoo, museums, anywhere. Danny! 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 When we started in on Melody, we started in with children. One never realized the problems involved in making a major film with children. And if we'd realized, I don't think we would ever have gone into it at all because it's so frightening. Basically, children have uh, a very strong anarchic streak in them. And this is very relevant to this particular film uh, because the film is basically about a kind of anarchy. It's a sort of innocent anarchy. I mean, they don't kind of walk around being delinquents or bashing people up. It's a sort of domestic anarchy that takes place, I think, in most homes at one point or another, where I think children, uh, at some point of their lives, have always wanted to get up and get out. It's a sort of Dick Whittington thing, you know, put your belongings into a handkerchief and uh, and to get the hell out, but of course they never do. They get as far as the front gate or get as far as Aunt Fanny down the road, but um, this film really is a sort of qualification of what they actually do. Don't worry. We'll have the last laugh at this lot. Hang him up there. We'll jack this school like him, give old dicks over there the old V sign, and shoot off and do whatever we want to do. You mark my words, it'll happen before you can say Jack Robinson. When I first started writing the script, it was, it was very important for it not to be just an adult's view and concept of of what kids think and how kids talk and how kids react to certain things. So what what we did to start with, right from the very outset, was to go around to schools and we tape recorded what they thought, what they said and everything, so that we didn't really just end up with how we thought that kids of 11 would react and whether they could fall in love or whether they couldn't fall in love, or whether it would be ridiculous, whether it would be naive, or whether it would be stupid, and how different kids of today are in their attitudes and than the we were, because it is it's slightly uh, autobiographical. <laughs> one, of, one of the interesting things is that uh, we were amazed how little had changed uh, from the 15 years, 16, 17 years since we 
were that age. Uh, the attitudes to the teachers were the same. The attitudes, to, in fact, to authority in general was the same well, yeah. to each other. Do you kiss boys, Muriel? Of course, if I like him enough. Aren't you frightened? Oh, why should I be frightened? It's quite nice when you get used to it. Oh, you must... Yeah, you must. Oh. Do you kiss for Muriel? <laughs> Depends how I feel. Five minutes sometimes. Oh, well, record. <laughs> You're lucky, Muriel. When I first started dancing and went on the stage, I wanted to be an actor then, but I didn't really think much of it. But I went to a modelling agency before this, and I went up for a few interviews for TV commercials, but I never got them. As Tracy's mother, I was very worried that the whole thing might make a big head in, but I'm very pleased that it doesn't appear to have done. Uh, I've never really directed uh, children in bulk until now. I mean, I've been coping on this one with about 300. I think the main thing about dealing with children anyway is that uh, uh, one shouldn't be at all either condescending or dominating because basically they don't allow you to dominate. Uh, they're very much uh, law unto themselves and they kind of um, impose on you the pattern of their way of working. Have you been drinking whiskey, Ormshaw? No, sir. Bronchial balsam. Cough syrup, sir. Smells <coughs> like whiskey to me. On shore. Oh, bad cough, sir. <coughs> well, on the, each child you have, which you want for a period on the film, is uh, has to be licensed. The license takes three weeks to obtain. You have to send in birth certificates, get headmaster approval, have a medical by the health authorities. When you get this license, you may want the kid for a week. Up until now, Tracy's only just been a normal little girl. She's gone to school in the normal way. She's had ballet lessons, tap dancing lessons, and stage lessons. Um, but I suppose, like all little girls in her mind, she would have liked to have been an actress eventually. And in her case, it's come true. I don't feel any different, but I think that other people may think that I am different. Mark Lester and Jack Wilde, of course, have made other films. Um, but with Tracy not having made any films before, we thought that there might be a slight gap between them. But in fact, there hasn't been. They've accepted her very well. They've both been extremely kind to her and helped her. I've got to dance with her. You're mad. What do you want to do that for? She'll only say buzz off or something. She's a bit stuck up, that one. You know, all this girl nonsense is rubbish. Girls are a load of snotty-nosed little so-and-sos. Look, if I dance with her, will you dance with her friend? Come on, but you've got to be joking. Come on, just this once. I'm scared to hear. Oh, look. Well, look, look, it looks as though she's wet herself. Come on, don't be scared. Oh, all right, all right, all right. My friends and I were wondering if you would like to. Come on, do you want to dance? <laughs> you like to dance? Come on, do you want a bloody dance? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I to dance you, though. You don't dance very well. What do you mean I don't dance very well? You are stupid! The director, he helps me by telling me what to do and how to do it, and um, he tells me exactly what he wants, and if I do get it wrong, he doesn't blow his top like some of them. She's very open. She allows herself to absorb a great deal of what she is fed with. I mean, I feed her with ideas. I don't have to... Uh, tell her how to lift a hand or take a look or, or, or move, because basically that's an instinctive thing in her. I mean, we saw this when we were auditioning. We auditioned a great number of girls, and it's not very easy for a child of 11. But uh, she has an extraordinary kind of reserve and a sort of inner strength, um, which I find uh, I can draw on. She obviously needs a direction in 
the sort of way one has to direct the scene, how it's going to be played. And every now and again, I talk her through a scene where there isn't any dialogue. But uh, on the whole, uh, she's, I think it's, I think acting in any case is instinctive. You either have it in you to be a performer or not. And uh, she has it, you know. My friend Muriel, you know, the big one, well, she says that you've been going around telling people that you love me. I don't mind it. It's just that well, people laugh at you, don't they? And well, if you have to tell someone, why not tell me? I mean, I'm always the last to know. We have a, a, a teacher for Mark Lester. He's got a separate curriculum from everyone else. We have his full-time education, the full-time education of Tracy Hyde also. I don't think the education given is comprehensive enough. Um, if she was at school, she would be doing far harder work. The schooling actually is just to keep them up with things, to keep them going along. Well, I have my lessons in a caravan. And, I, and my teacher Paul, he teaches me all different types, all the subjects, you know, I've got to learn. What other subjects? Oh, maths, history, French, Latin, scripture, science, oh, and stuff like that. Of the four, right? Right. No, uh, one of these. What shape are these ones? Oval. Mark's got um, a very lively intelligence side, so he plays him it's sort of in the well above average category. Um, unfortunately, because he's been doing these films for so long, he was doing it before the act, ensuring safeguarding children's education came in. And so he's missed a lot of the basic work. And uh, we've been working very hard, you know, um, to try and get, fill in these gaps in his education, particularly things like maths and French, which I would recommend us to do by his school teachers, who I saw before I started this. Um, and he's, he's getting quite enthusiastic about it. You know, I think he, he realizes the importance of an education. I went to a stage school for four years. No, f yeah, no, five, about four years. And uh, it was, a, you know, it was, I think, was one of the best in London. And I had, uh, I did normal schooling as well as um, acting, dancing, singing and all that business, you know. And uh, I did, uh, finished academic work and went into the student sort of thing, which he just did uh, dancing. Uh, I did that for about six months and then I decided to leave. It was getting a bit boring, you know. Well, Jack is absolutely marvellous. I mean, I can't sort of go into a list of sort of the things that I think he's good at. I just think he's a, a, a very good actor and what he's done for us is that he's helped to guide the two younger children through uh, in areas where they may have needed help and that can only come when it's uh, when the camera's actually rolling and they're in front of it and I'm behind it and can't really do very much about what they're doing except redo something. Uh, he helps. I mean, he's instinctively very good at, uh, at catching on a suggestion and using it. I mean, Jack, he's always making jokes which you can't stop laughing at and Mark is very good with jokes as well. It's, you know, it's a constant battle all the time when you set up a location camp you have to have toilets separate for the children eating facilities separate for the children chaperones separate for the children it's just incredible it doubles the amount of paraphernalia you need to make a film with what is it state kidney quite all right i'll have state kidney me too please all right all right is it like a in there <laughs> when we uh, started shooting the film, a very interesting thing happened. Because of the various licensing laws, one thing or another, we had to use children from stage schools, and uh, certainly in our principal parts. Uh, and we laced the 30 stage school children with about 300, 400 children from a school in Lambeth. And 
it, was, it wasn't done deliberately, but because of the scheduling restrictions, we started off with the big scenes, the scenes with the uh, 400 kids. <coughs> and what happened was that the Lambeth children had, the, had an extraordinary effect on the stage school children and completely destaged them, and they became wild. Once they've worked for more than four weeks, they have to have a medical examination. And every four weeks, you have to repeat the medical examination to make sure they're fit to continue. Uh, you have inspectors from the schools coming around regularly. And the law is designed to prevent the exploitation of children. And it, uh, it was set up, I think, by people who really didn't know the specific problems relating to filmmaking. And therefore, the people who operate the law and ourselves find terrible difficulty in working within the terms of the act and still meeting the specific needs of films. I don't think they're overprotected. I think it's an extremely good thing that these laws have been brought out. It does ensure that they get their schooling and they are not overworked. A child can work only three hours in a day, in any eight-hour day. They can only be called for eight hours in a day, specifically between nine in the morning and uh, five in the afternoon. They have to be finished by five. Well, I think it's a good thing. I think that if a child's education is allowed to go downhill too much and they don't take up acting or a similar vein later on in life, they could find that uh, they're way behind and this isn't good. They have to get through life in the normal way, same as everybody else, and if they haven't had their basic education, they'll find this very difficult. Uh, I, I think I know enough for the time being, whether or not I probably pick up other things later on. I think I know enough for the time being.